We're on a mission to find tools and equipment that have game-changing potential for making the work safer and better for all the people on our projects. This is Geared Up. All right, welcome back to Geared Up, you know, where we go and look at all the newest, coolest tools and equipment in the industry that might be making our jobs faster and easier. And today I got Jose Castellanos. Yep. So Jose, thanks for having us. Yeah, of course, happy to have you guys. Looks like this is your sandbox. Yep, playground for MX. Right on. So this all looks like from dirt to the finished product of concrete. So I recognize a plate compactor. What, uh, what stands out about this one versus what we do today? So honestly, I think, you know, and we'll draw the eye to where it goes. The thing about the MX Fuel 20 inch plate compactor is that you're eliminating that gas engine. We can remove those gas headaches, no more engine maintenance, no more emissions wherever you might be running this. This one I haven't played with. Can you give me an explanation around this guy? Yeah, absolutely. So right here, we've got our MX Fuel briefcase vibrator. Sure. This product is actually an earlier launch. It's already fully launched and in the market, and it is kitted with our XC6 amp hour batteries. Okay. Uh, great thing about the briefcase is that you're foregoing those traditionally corded units. You know, whenever you're using those longer whips and uh, vibrating into columns, you oh, yeah. don't want to also have to drag around a cord, plus the weight of the whip and the unit on. Right on. Yeah, I have a, I have a couple plug-in mini versions like this that I would love to get rid of for a battery operated version if I could, because same, same concept. I hate cords on sites. If I can help it, no cords every time. Absolutely. Cool. So a little mini, little mini briefcase vibrator. This looks like a, a bit bigger step up. We got a backpack vibrator, I believe. Yep, this is a backpack vibe. Uh, this is one of the ones I think that we've enjoyed developing the most. Yeah. So again, kitted with that XC6, so fully launched already in the market. But what blew us away when we started looking into the space in general is we started going on research, talking to guys in the field. We saw these live gas engines on guys' backs. Oh, yeah. They're walking through rebar, right? They're navigating that whip in, in between the rebar into the port. And these guys are slipping up and tripping sometimes, refueling while they're running. We saw a lot of cause for concern. So yeah. definitely one of our more exciting stories. We're eliminating that gas engine, kills emissions on site and around the operators working that port, keeps them safer, gives the same level of performance. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of standing behind the guy running the vibrator breathing in those fumes if I can help it, but definitely not. I've had my I've had my share of that as well, so I can avoid that when I get a chance and I'm not mad. Alright. So I haven't played with this, haven't seen this on the job. Uh, can you walk me through the, the battery screen? Definitely. So MX Fuel Vibratory Screed, um, you know, meant to replace those gas powered screeds today. Works up to a 16 foot bar. I think the real thing to call out about the MX Screed that has had our users really excited is the fact that on our CP30 pack, which is our smallest, lightest pack currently in the sure. MX lineup, you're getting over two hours of runtime on a 12 foot bar. Wow. So this is one of those first examples of being able to leverage battery tech and give similar gas performance, yeah. but give you that runtime you need for all day. Hours. Yeah. That is super light too. That's impressive. All right, let's keep it keep it rolling, keep it moving. So we we screeded our mud, and now we now somebody's got to run a little finishing operation, right? Yep. Okay. So what do you, what are the what do we got here? What are the two differences here? So right here on my left we've got the MX Fuel 24 inch edging trowel. On my right we've got that MX Fuel 36 inch walk behind trowel. Sure. Now the great thing about both of these trowels, as you guys can see, is that they are going to be kitted with our new MX Fuel Red Lithium Forge HD 12 amp hour batteries. Okay. And what that's going to do is afford you that five horsepower performance that you've come to expect from those gas power trowels, while giving you 25 minutes of runtime on the 36 inch, 35 minutes of runtime on the 24 inch. Now what we've seen from these trials is that being able to eliminate emissions from those indoor finishing scenarios sure. where you're going to have to run, you know, small commercial spaces, basements, garages, patios, driveways, sure. all of those elements, you're, be, you're able to reduce emissions, not crowd yourself with that arm, you know, to the yeah. operator, um, and get the work done quietly and more efficiently. Huh. Love it. And so I heard that uh, a few of our folks have already started playing with these and getting a little bit of a hands-on evaluation of these and they love them. Yep. <laughs> Lo local, uh, Local Wisconsin team has been working with some of these and they said they're they're great tools. So that's pretty cool. And then we get all the way around the corner here, we get all the way to the end, I should say, and you got a soft cut saw. Well, well we don't call them soft cuts. Anyway. <laughs> don't do that to me. I <laughs> forgot that that was, that was like a Kleenex. Yeah, so uh, exactly. What we say here is soft cuts like Frisbee. Yeah, so, right. uh, but hopefully now we're gonna take care of that. So this is the MX Fuel six inch green concrete saw. It is directly meant to target those push behind six inch soft cut saws from the house of Barnes side. Yeah, fair enough. Um, and you know, again, coming back to eliminating those gas engines and providing user feedback driven innovations that make the process a lot more productive. Yeah. Uh, something I love to call out um, is just a simple fact that like, 
you have this entire mechanism on the right hand side, makes your life easier when you go to cut compared to soft cut. We can even do it when you got it like that. That guide arm is gonna go down and yeah. come up all from where your hands are while yeah. you're cutting. Why not add the cable attachment to make it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. brilliant. And so what's the depth on this thing? So the depth on this, this is gonna hit a maximum of one and a half inches with a six inch plate. Okay. Contrary to the soft cut 150, which you have to size up size to a six up and a half sure. to cut that deep. Not only that, but instead of having to work, you know, with a complicated internal system that takes time, anytime you wanna adjust your depth, you just go up to this knob, move it to where you need it, and you're cutting at that adjusted depth in less than five seconds. I mean, this is like speed dating. We just went through and, and, and banged out a little bit of detail on all these, but the proof's in the pudding. Do we get to try any of them? Absolutely, let's go play with them. Let's do it. Something unique to the plate that we're extremely excited about is that this is the only plate in its class that has forward and reverse functionality. Yeah. So what that means is that when you get up there to the back, if you want to back over, if you want to turn around in a corner, you can put reverse functionality, only 20 inch plate in its class that can do that. Yeah, I like that. Otherwise the neutral button, so you don't have to disarm every time you want to take a quick pause while you're doing the work. Got it. You want to get in on these buttons or you want me just to run her here, Aaron? Just run it. All right. I mean, when I was uh, when I was young, it felt a lot heavier and more cumbersome than it did just now. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Cool. Let's go try something else. What else you got for us? Let's go. Uh, go play with the trowels. All right. Yeah. So a couple of cool things about the trowels is that we innovated where necessary, but kept it in a way that was familiar for our users. Sure. Um, so you are arming arming down here, just like any MX Fuel System product. You're gonna press that arming button. You have a battery life indicator here because the battery does face the opposite side, so sure. you can stay conscious of your battery life. As we work our way up, one thing worth calling out, we do have a centrifugal switch that will trigger in the event of control loss. So if okay. it ever does come out of your hands, you don't have to worry about that spin of death or that spiral. I've watched some of those YouTube videos. They're entertaining, but dangerous. Yeah, That's yeah it. it looks very yeah. dangerous. Yeah. So I can just let her go, right? Absolutely. Let's try it. So I'm at full speed now. That's awesome. <laughs> I like that a lot. That's that feels like a much safer kind of setup than probably some of the old school ones. Definitely. And I think another thing that's exciting about that is that it'll bring it to a stop as soon as it can, but also reduce speed. So in the yeah. worst case scenario, you're working a compact space, every single bit of inertia and forward motion we can eliminate reduces injury on site. Right on. Hey, thanks for the demos. Really appreciate all the information as well. Absolutely. Um, for those of you guys watching, uh, I gotta tell you, this has been an amazing experience. I love being able to try stuff for the first time and experience it on behalf of the company. I hope to see that we experience and try some of these things more. If you have any questions or if you have any comments or even just other tools to suggest, hit that comments button or fill out that comments box down at the bottom. And you wouldn't hurt my fragile ego if you hit the like button as well. Thanks for joining another episode of Geared Up and we'll see you next time. Thanks y'all.